The New Civil Liberties Alliance is a civil liberties organization devoted to defending our constitutional freedoms. And of course our chief target is the administrative state because there is no greater threat to civil liberties in this country than that. The administrative state is a type of governance that is not authorized by the Constitution. The Constitution authorizes one mode of controlling us. Congress has to pass a law and the courts have to adjudicate a violation of it. So we can only be held to account if we violated a law adopted by Congress and we've been held to account in a court with a real judge and with a jury. The goal of the New Civil Liberties Alliance is to restore our constitutional freedoms, which have been severely eroded, and go after the types of power that threaten the civil liberties of all Americans. Uh, that seems essential these days because the threat to civil liberties is so substantial now. What I think is really um, interesting uh, about the way Professor Hamburger has approached this is that um, it's trying to look at um, the underlying processes, right? What supports the administrative state and trying to get at that and also trying to educate people to think about how this is really impacting uh, liberty. The administrative state is so invasive. It invades all the different parts uh, of our lives and the government is constantly coming up with new ways of uh, telling us the way that we have to do things or preventing us from doing things the way that we want to do them. And when there are so many bans and so many mandates, when everything is either something that you have to do or can't do, it leaves very little space for liberty in the middle. The New Civil Liberties Alliance believes that we should let legislators legislate, we should let judges judge, and we shouldn't let bureaucrats do either one. There's a tendency to just think, well, it's a good idea, or you know, it's something that we want to accomplish and we can think of good government reasons for doing it, right? Um, great, but there is still a constitution and we are a constitutional republic. And just because you think it's a good idea doesn't mean that government can do it. It has to be consistent with our constitution and with the way the constitution requires things to be done. I do believe that the growth of the administrative state is the civil liberties issue of our time. It doesn't matter what area of liberty you look at, there's a federal agency that's trying to take liberty away. And we can't underestimate uh, that problem or more and more liberty will be lost every day. It's worth thinking about the way in which uh, this is really taking the power uh, from the people, taking the ability to consent um, to the way they're governed. Um, and that's, that's significant. I, I think that's one of the most illuminating things that NCLA is doing is getting people to think about that. One of the things that makes uh, the new Civil Liberties uh, Alliance unique is our focus. Many civil rights groups focus on threats to individual civil rights, free speech, religious liberty, voting rights, for example. But the administrative state threatens all these liberties and many more besides. And and CLA's focus isn't on one of these liberties, it's on finding ways of pushing back the administrative state so that none of these liberties are threatened.